Should you switch your Google Ads campaigns from a max CPC or max clicks and upgrade to a maximized conversions bidding strategy? You only need to take a quick dive into the world of LinkedIn and Reddit talking about this topic and you can see that it's a common theme or should I say common complaint that people are complaining that when they change over to a maximized conversions bidding strategy that they also see an increase in their CPC. So what I wanted to do in this video, I'm gonna break it down into three different parts where firstly, we're gonna look at what actually happens when you introduce a maximized conversion bidding strategy into one of your Google Ads campaigns. And then we're gonna go into once you've made that change, what metrics you actually need to be focusing on. And then of course, if you wanna make that change, how to do that in the right way. Now, just at the start of this video, I do wanna just clarify that if I say max conversions, I do mean either maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. It just saves me having to repeat and say the same thing. And it will probably even save about two minutes of recording time by me not having to say maximize conversions and maximize conversion value every single time. So let's firstly dive into what actually happens when you introduce a max maximize conversions bidding strategy to one of your Google Ads campaigns. When you do make this change, what you're actually asking Google to do is you're asking Google to get as many conversions as possible within your current budget restraints. And then on top of that, if you were to add in a target CPA or a target ROAS, you are then taking it a step further and telling Google that you can spend my daily budget as long as you can get me conversions at say $20, or you can give me a ROAS of 500%, depending on what your target is set at. Now, most people with even limited experience in Google Ads will understand that concept, but this is how Google actually does achieve those goals that you're giving it. So Google is not only looking at your current activity account history. So it's not only the campaign history that Google looks at, it also does reference your account wide conversion data. And what it's looking at is it's looking at what keywords or search themes are producing the most conversions, what audiences and demographics are producing the most conversions, what are the best converting devices or networks, and then also looking at when do these conversions occur. So what are the best days and hours of the day that the majority of your conversions happen. But Google doesn't look at all of those different data endpoints separately. When when you switch over to a maximized conversions bidding strategy, Google looks at all of those data points in one big group. So effectively, it's looking at who are the people who complete certain searches on certain devices at certain times of the day or week, when are they most likely to convert? And when Google has that picture, Google will increase the budget spend for those days and then pull it back for other days. Once again, increasing budget spend when certain audiences and demographics complete searches and then lowering the bids when different audiences and demographics graphics complete searches. And then on top of that, there is another factor that you need to take into account. And this is your daily budget. Because what you do need to understand that with Google Ads, even though you enter in your budget as a daily amount, Google actually takes that budget, multiplies it by 30.4, and then it operates off a monthly budget. And this is the reason why you see a lot of people, once they've made that switch over to maximize conversions, that they start to stress out or get worried. And you hear a lot of complaints like, I haven't seen any conversions for two or three days or my cost per click has increased. And there's a number of reasons for why this could be happening. Firstly, in regards to your budget, if you make the change over on a Monday, but Google sees that you get most of your conversions on Friday and Saturday, Google will hold back the spend and then increase the spending on your next Friday or Saturday. You then also need to take into account acquisition windows. If Google sees that it can get more conversions by targeting people who have a slightly longer acquisition window, and it's quite common that when you do make this change, your results for the next one to two weeks will actually go down before they recover. So to make this clearer and to show you some real examples, we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can show you a real life account where we made this change and what actually happens. But what I also do wanna do is that you do need to make sure that when you are making any changes in your Google Ads account, like changing your bidding strategy or any other required optimization strategies, you need to not only make sure that this is part of a complete optimization strategy, but you're also doing these optimizations at the right time and giving Google enough time to really work out how those changes will affect your account. Because the best performing accounts in Google 
Google Ads have this in the right balance where you're reviewing the data and making manual optimizations and then giving Google enough time to really factor in and make those changes so that you can see greater performance in your account. And to assist you with that process, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklists. And I've got these both set up for service-based companies and also for e-commerce brands. And if you'd like to know every single optimization action that you need to complete, plus when they need to be completed, just follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's jump into that screen share so we can give a greater explanation of what happens and show you some results when you add in a maximized conversion bidding strategy. So the data that we're looking at is for the 12 month period of last year. And as you can see, our cost per conversion, it started up at $1,700 a month, and then we're able to whittle that down to where we're regularly getting that below $20 a month. I'll just break this into a weekly amount. And what I wanna show you in through here, now we added in a maximized conversion bidding strategy in April. I'll go through and show this in the change history so you can get some more context because we also then made some other changes in July. So I wanna show you sort of some things that happened in through here. So what you can see in through here is that we made the first change in here and you can see straight away our CPC went up. And then we also made another major change in July. And once again, you can see this had an effect on our CPC. But what I want to show you in both cases in through here, I'll just get rid of this red line, but as you can see that this was continuing to go down all year. As we said, we got it to below $20 for every month in the back end of the year. But what you can see in through here is that you know we did have some some spikes in CPC, but as our CPC was spiking, we would also get an increase in conversions, and then we're able to bring down that CPC, which then allowed us to get up some extra conversions. So what you can see through here in the yellow line is you can see that throughout the whole year we were building up and increasing our number of conversions, even though it did increase again at the end, we were still able to get our CPC at a lower rate of what it was when we started off this campaign. So what I want to show you in through here now I'm just focusing in on the bidding changes and the first one that I really wanted to focus in on in here is obviously we added in a maximized conversion bidding strategy in April and then the other one I really want to focus in on is that we then started to increase or drop down our target CPA so that was the 26th of July and then the other date we want to be looking in is the 14th of April so what I want to do in through here let's just shorten this date down because we want to look into April because we started this in here and then also I'll run it through to the end of August I'm keeping it on a weekly basis just because I find it a little bit more easy to uh, see the data. So what you can see through here is the blue line is our average CPC and the red line is our conversions. And what you can see this first change we made around April, you can see from here our CPC started to go up, but also our conversions went up. And then from there, what we're able to do is we we're able to continue the optimizations to bring down that CPC. And then we we're also able to see the separation. And that separation is what you really wanna see when you're seeing more conversions and a lower CPC. And that process continued to go on. So let me just once again, change the date range. We'll go through to the end of November now. So you can see from here, we saw that variance in here. It then caught up again. Then we saw another variance and we've been able to then increase that red line again. So all the time what we're looking at is we are looking at stepping things up and then working down on the CPC. And that then brings that variance so that we're getting that red line, in this case, which is the conversions, moving further away from that CPC. So the first thing that I really want to reinforce is to really understand that when you do make a change and introduce a maximized conversion bidding strategy, just understand that it may take a couple of weeks for things to work out and for results to actually get better. And the reason for that is because we are making a significant change to what you're asking Google to do. So if you're coming from a maximized clicks or a maximized CPC bidding strategy, and then introducing a maximized conversions bidding strategy, it's a really, really significant change. You're telling Google, please stop focusing on traffic and focus on high converting traffic. So as I said, at the start of this video, remember there's so many different data points that Google needs to take into account. It's then also readjusting how it spends your budget. So the biggest thing that I do really wanna reinforce is that when you do make that change over to a maximized conversion bidding strategy, that you do need to allow some time for the results to actually get better and improve. And as I showed 
showed you in that change history of that example account, you could see that it sometimes is about a two or three week lag from when we introduced the change or made a change to the bidding to when we actually saw better results. But remember when we looked at that whole year data, you could actually see that yes, we were paying a higher CPC, but our conversion metrics were getting better. And you may remember that first screen, you're seeing our cost per conversion started at you know really, really high and ridiculous. When we introduced that maximized conversion, our conversions was at $70 a month. We got that down to 35, then down to 25. And then for the last three months in a row, that was below $20 with our lowest being at $16. So really make sure that you're giving your maximized conversion bidding strategy enough time to take effect and so that you can see the positive results. And then this brings us to the second main thing that you need to understand if you do introduce a maximized conversion bidding strategy, and that is that your CPC is no longer as relevant as it used to be. I can't tell you the amount of times in coaching calls or when I do account reviews or in my live group coaching sessions that I have for my paid community where people will you know, contact me and get worried about the increase in the CPC. And then when you drill down to it, in many cases, they've only just changed over to their maximized bidding strategy within the last seven to 10 days. What you need to remember is that you need to remember that if you've made this change over to a maximized conversion bidding strategy, but you're now not really looking at the CPC. Now, I'm not saying that your CPC is completely irrelevant, but it's not the most important metric anymore. Let me give you a really simple example to explain this. Let's just say you've got a budget of $100 a month and you're currently paying for clicks at a dollar per click, and that was giving you 10 clicks. So for every $100 spent, you are getting 10 conversions. And then if you switched over to a maximized conversion bidding strategy, still spending $100, but if your CPC CPC was now costing you $2, but you're getting 20 conversions, that then means that for every $100 you spent, you're getting 20 conversions. So yes, your CPC is doubled, but also the amount of conversions that you're receiving is doubled. And that's just a really simple example to really just remind you that you're not just looking at the CPC, you do need to really focus in on your conversion metrics. And this then brings us to the third point of, if you are gonna make this change over to introduce a maximized conversion or maximized conversion bidding strategy, it is really, really important that you do this in the the right way. And because this is such a big topic and I don't just want to quickly roll over it, I want you to go through and watch this video right here where I take you through the four steps to make sure that you're introducing a maximized conversions bidding strategy in the right way. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I look forward to seeing you in this video right now. See you later.